Living Simply, A Key to Happiness. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 260. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 260, March 18th, 2018 edition. Today, what I'd like to talk about before we jump into our updates is living simply, a key to happiness. And that is the topic of the day because it's a foundation of what our project is about. And when we talk about living simply, we're not talking about a return to the Stone Ages of uh, struggle and simply casting off all of technology and no longer being connected to the world or escapism or anything like that. What we're talking about is a simplification of the concept of living. Right now, my perspective is, and our project's perspective, is that the world is divided into a lot of specializations necessary to make everything continue on. And we think that it's possible to bring together the people with the knowledge and the skills to be able to create completely sustainable civilizations and completely sustainable cities, which we are starting as teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, designed to provide everything that a person needs in a localized format that gives more than it takes. We call this living and creating for the highest good of all life, and the design and the idea is to build on sustainable infrastructure and sustainable ideas that cover all aspects of sustainable living, not just the physical foundations of sustainability, but also the emotional foundations of sustainability. And this is how living simply can be a key to happiness. The physical foundations are food, energy, and housing. And those are what a lot of people are struggling nowadays to provide. They have to pay the rent, they need to buy food, and of course, uh, energy bills and things like that are another major expense. The emotional foundations that we've identified are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. And these are also a tremendous uh, financial burden as well as a major stressor for most people like providing education for their kids, providing enough self-growth and development for themselves, um, fulfilled living practices, like what do people do to enrich their lives and, and for enjoyment, and how much money are they spending on those things, and where do they go for those things? And then, of course, the economic models. Most people are struggling just to make their ends meet. Most people are struggling to pay their bills and just living paycheck to paycheck. Statistics in the United States right now are terrible. And so one community is meant to be a solution to that, a demonstration of living simply as a key to happiness, through bringing everything that a person needs to live a rich, fulfilling, and abundant life into one location and working through cooperation and collaboration instead of competition to provide for everybody's needs within that environment. Growing that environment from a starter team of 10 to 20 people to 50 people to 100 people to 400 plus people and beyond. But the model is designed to be implemented of any size. And I said this before, but it's been a long time. The model is already being implemented in smaller sizes. People say, oh, that could never work. It's like, wait a minute, families are already cooperating and collaborating to get things done. Even fraternities, sororities, corporations, all of these are examples of groups of people coming together to do something because they have a shared idea of what needs to be done and working together and cooperating and collaborating to achieve those goals. What if the goal was simple living and an abundant lifestyle that meets the needs of people better than the way they're living right now? and to create a life that is as rich, as fun, and as enjoyable as possible by working together, sharing the aspects of the process and of life that people don't particularly enjoy by distributing those among everybody, and then allowing people to focus on the things that they love to do the most and bringing together people with the skill sets necessary to be able to achieve those goals so that you build a team working together, but not just a family team, bringing together a team that's much larger than that, 50 to 100, and then 100 to 400 and 400 and beyond, people working together, cooperating and collaborating to create a way of life that's better than the way people are living right now. This is what our model is all about. And so the highest good education, the economics, the fulfilled living practices, the earth stewardship, all these ideas, the food, energy, the housing, all of them are designed and being put together as a complete collaborative and cooperative model where within that model, money won't need to exist. Within that model, you can have one or two people be able to do the shopping for the needs that are necessary to be done so that 
50 people don't have to do that for themselves. You can have one or two people working together to do laundry for a large group of people, prepare food for a large group of people, provide health care, I'm sorry, <clears throat> provide education for a large group of people, and eventually health care for a large group of people. Similar to the way that it's done right now in society, except that those things aren't controlled and managed by the group themselves. People send their kids away in most cases for education. People go away in most cases to get their food. People go away in most cases for health care. People go away in most cases for recreation and for en enrichment and enjoyment and just personal growth. People aren't living together, so if they want to get together and collaborate or cooperate on something, work together towards a common vision or goal, then they need to pull their friends and family from potentially all over the world to try and do that. And it's just, currently, there isn't really a good model for doing that. And so our idea for living simply as a key to happiness is to create an environment where people who believe in cooperation and collaboration and working together as a faster and more enjoyable path to personal fulfillment, to creating and achieving more, and to creating a more abundant lifestyle, we are creating an open source and free shared model for doing that. <clears throat> and it's built on technology, it's built on science, it's built on the most cutting edge developments right now in permaculture and food production and energy production, and housing construction, things like that, all sustainable. All foundations that are built on sustainability and designed to lower overhead, produce and generate <clears throat> revenue that will allow for indefinite expansion and to bring people that want to cooperate and collaborate together so that they can indeed live simply as a key to happiness. And it's all open source and free share. It's all modifiable and adaptable so that people with different visions, different ideas, different perspectives on what that concept of living simply is and what the concept of happiness is can modify and adapt the model to their specific needs and goals and achieve whatever it is that they want built on this foundation of sustainability. And because it's created all with the mindset and the belief system that's possible to create a world that, cr that truly works for everybody and with a mindset for the highest good of all life on this planet, we believe that everybody that engages the process, even a little bit, even just for personal reasons and maybe not interested in bringing a group of people together, anybody who integrates a piece of the food component or the education or the highest good energy or the highest good housing or any aspect of what it is that we're doing, because it's built on the concept of a highest good of all, is a step in the right direction. And so this is how one community, our nonprofit, our all-volunteer, unpaid staff, is working together to create a world that truly works for everybody through open source and do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for all aspects of each of the components of Highest Good Living. So with that said, let's look at one week of our team's progress, our all-volunteer team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal, this idea of living simply as a key to happiness. Check it out. The one community approach to Highest Good Housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created the first 30% of the Cobb Village cost analysis page, some of which you can see here. The core team also finished the rest of the Treehouse Village Pod 7 cost analysis page, as shown here. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his second week helping update our Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. What you see here are some of Mike's second round of corrections within the model. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 AutoCAD layout updates. Here's update 105 of Dean's work. This week he created the rooftop plan to match the 3D designs and continued development of the landscaping details. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 16th week working on the compressed earth block village render editions. This week, he focused on adding water details to the two renders shown here. And Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her ninth week working on the Treehouse Village residential designs and renders. This week, she continued finalizing the final texturing and lighting details for the complete interior, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by addressing the areas identified by the core team. You can see some of this work here. David Olivero, 
mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 14th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was more research, starting to create the HVAC zonal details, and initial HVAC layout sketches. Dipti Donterker, electrical engineer, continued with her 66th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was correcting errors and doing additional calculations on the lighting spreadsheet shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the complete highest good food rollout plan and cost analysis. We created the initial two to three person due diligence food rollout plan and action list and continued to develop the implementation details for 10 to 20 people, as shown here. The core team also researched soil lab equipment needs and costs, determining that the costs make external testing a better option for food rollout plans like ours. In addition, the core team continued research and design of the open source permaculture design for the property. What you see here is our first sharing of some of the data we're gathering for the design. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued developing the lesson plan's how-to tutorial page. We created new imagery explaining the most complex steps of the design process and finished the second 50% of the intermediate learners example and all of the advanced learners accelerated example. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Vivian Rodriguez, translator, continued helping translate our overview pages. This week she finished the methodology page, as shown here in Portuguese. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manahar, Shubur Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team made changes to the user profile to support read-only mode when a non-administrator user views a colleague's profile, made time log changes to remove the ability to edit action items and notifications when not viewing own profile, updated the code to bring up bigger badge images with new description details, and completed the leaderboard development and presentation, which you can see here. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of living simply as a key to happiness. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, resources, everything that we talked about in this video, and so much more, visit our website, visit our written blog, check it out. All the information is there. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or subscribe to any of our social media networks. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Instagram, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, share information, and we post our updates every week uh, to, the, to, the, to all those social media networks. So you can also manage your updates that way if you prefer. And uh, also this is a good time to say that if you'd like the easiest way to help, well, there's lots of different ways to help. You can visit our helping page, and see all the different ways to get involved with our project. We're open source, we're 100% volunteers, so there's lots of different ways to participate. But the easiest way is to like this YouTube video, uh, subscribe to any of our channels, and share our information, or just share our information. You don't have to subscribe, just share our information or give it a like. Go check out our Facebook page, go check out our LinkedIn feeds and see what it is that we're up to. Like the information, go to our website, share anything that you think is worth sharing, help us get the word out. This is what we're all about, is sharing sustainable, highest good for all information. And if you'd like the easiest way to help, help us share it. Other than that, thanks. Thanks for watching to the end. 
Thank you for the donations that we get. If you're somebody that's donated, thank you very much. It makes a big difference. Not if they're paid for what is what is happening here. So all those donations go to our website infrastructure and help us upgrade our servers and maintain everything that is. It goes 100% towards our mission. So if you're somebody who's donated to One Community, thanks. It does really make a difference. Thank you for our comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. And thank you for following our progress. We will, until next week, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.